one more video again on seeking God. Hallelujah. I am excited. Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning in again. Oh, my brothers and sisters, we are faith brothers and sisters of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that a good news? <laughs> All right, real quick. Now we're going to turn to James 4 and verse 8. In the King James Version, it says, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. He says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. You see, we talk about before in the previous video, we talk about, you know, some people may be seeking. Well, everybody's seeking, right? But not everybody's seeking after God. I didn't go too deep into that because everybody's seeking, seeking their own needs, right? They're seeking how they can... Uh, sustain themselves and it sounds good and it sounds like well that's what we're supposed to do we're grown folks which must take care of ourselves but when you come to God it's a difference it is a shift God will take care of you God will lead you I'm not saying you're just gonna sit down and not doing anything that's lazy no that, that's not God <laughs> but what I'm saying is that you're not in charge of your life don't miss it now so when you draw closer to God know what is happening he's coming to meet you where you are he's coming to me but you see when you open up your heart it says when I knock anyone open up his heart you he will come in he will come in so God God wants to bless you God wants to have a relationship with you but it start right now are you seeking him Draw closer to God. It's not rocket scientists. I'm telling you. If you draw closer to God, I'm going to read it again. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Full stop. No, just think about that for a moment. You want me to read it again? Okay, I'm going to read it again. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. It is as simple as that. <laughs> And I can testify this verse. I draw nigh to him and he draw nigh to me. And I just keep doing it every day. Every day. Hallelujah. If you abide in me and I will abide in you. Hallelujah. Well, that's for other videos that, that are coming in. Because the Lord is keep dealing with me to keep more videos coming in and seeking God series. So I want to encourage you. And the only way you're going to purify your heart is by the word of God. What what am I mean? What do I mean by that? Our heart needs to be purified because the thing that are in our heart is not the Word of God. And the only thing can change our heart is the Word of God. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed of the Word of God. It is so important. I'm going to put that scripture up here so you're going to see that. So it's very important, my brothers and sisters, that we, we, we make it become a lifestyle that we're seeking God. Constantly, you're meditating day and night. Oh, you're always smiling. You're always happy. Well, the, the truth is, I'm always thinking about God. What are you saying, God? Lord, how are you doing? Lord, you like my, my socks? Uh, is this the right socks you want me to put on, Lord? Uh, you're laughing. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I have a relationship with God. It's amazing. It blows my mind all the time. Sometimes I can just picture God just smiling at me and just smile at him. Hey, Father, how you doing, Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. Or sometimes I'm around the table and I say, Lord, okay, you can sit over there, Lord. That's your seat. Hallelujah. It is a beautiful thing relationship when you have a relationship with God I am telling you your ship will never sink glory to God I say that again when you have a relationship with God our Heavenly Father your ship will never sail I mean it would never sink when you have that relationship I want to encourage you to to seek after the Lord seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near he's knocking at your heart right now just accept him. Lord Jesus, I'm seeking after you more. I'm going to pray. I'm going to read your word. I'm going to make it a lifestyle. I'm going to start tomorrow morning. This month is a new beginning right now. 
and I'm going to I'm going to outline some principles father Lord I ask you to help me in the name of Jesus that in the morning if I can even spend 5 minutes with you and Lord that you will help me as I draw nigh to you according to your word in James 4 and 8 I'm believing Lord you said if I draw nigh to you if I seek after you if I read your word if I come after you if I seek the things after God you said you will come into me you will draw close to me as I draw close to you So it's a two-way. So, Father, I thank you through your Son Jesus Christ for washing me of my sins. I thank you for this opportunity that I can have a relationship with you that will change my life completely around, Lord. I thank you for this opportunity. I give you the glory. I give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. That is a start. Hallelujah. Sometimes the hardest thing for us to do is to start. Just start. Just start where you can. If you want to spend thirty seconds a day at the same time, that's a start. That is a start. Wherever you can start, just start. I encourage you. Just start. Just just make the first move, and you see how God line up things. Hallelujah! His angels, the angels that are your guardian angels, are ready. They're willing. They they just can't wait for you to just say yes, Jesus, come in my life. They just can't wait to start working in the scene for you, to work in the background for you, my brothers and my sisters. So be encouraged. Uh, more videos will be coming out in the Seeking God series. God bless and be with you. Stay tuned while we seek the Lord together. God bless you in Jesus' name.